So Realme is undoubtedly one of the most exciting mobile manufacturers to elbow its way into the UK smartphone market in the last 12 months or so, offering some great wallet-friendly budget blows, which is great for anyone whose stacks are looking particularly slender right now. Last year's Realme 5 Pro is only six months old, and yet already we have a successor, the Realme 6 Pro. But despite that slim time frame, there is definitely more than enough clever upgrades packed into this all new Pro to justify its existence, and also possibly annoy anyone who just spunked up for the 5 Pro. Now the Realme 6 Pro was already launched in the likes of India about a month ago, but it's only just coming to the UK now, and I've been using it as my full-time personal handset for a full week ahead of that UK launch. So here's my in-depth Realme 6 Pro review, and for more on the latest greatest tech, please do poke subscribe and ding that notifications bell. Cheers. Now first up, certainly no complaints with the design beyond the fact that the 6 Pro is a friggin' huge phone, but that's pretty much standard these days. I've been using it without the bundle condom case and that back end is still pristine, despite a couple of slightly terrifying bangs and scrapes. There are no scratches spoiling that slick swirly finish, although as usual it is a friggin' dust magnet. And good news around the front end as well, because that Gorilla Glass 5 display actually has a pre-installed screen protector slapped over the top of it as well, so it is super safe. Basically, if you're a bit of a butterfingers, the Realme 6 Pro is probably a damn good choice. And as if it wasn't already well hard enough, the Realme 6 Pro apparently has a triple layer protection to help prevent moisture from invading the innards as well. It's certainly still fine after plenty of splashing, although I certainly wouldn't try submerging it in water. Now the Realme 6 Pro is definitely hiding some very incredible smarts despite that slender asking price. So for instance, it's one of the very first budget blows to serve up a 90 hertz refresh rate display. What that basically means is you'll get a super slick experience as you swipe around the Realme UI and play with compatible apps. It's definitely an absolute delight. And this beefy 6.6 .6 inch IPS panel also offers is a full HD plus resolution, you've got customizable color temperature and strong brightness levels too, so you get a really good view of the action even outdoors. I really enjoyed watching lots of Netflix, Shudder, Prime Video, etc. on the Realme 6 Pro in my super fun isolation week. The only small blight is that massive dual pinhole housing, but at least it's shoved away in a corner and actually rarely intrudes on anything at all. And you've also got a video feature stacks on here as well called OZ Vision Effects. It's been a pretty staple thing in the color rest for a couple of versions now. What it's supposed to do is basically just boost the colors and make everything look real nice and pretty for a handful of supported apps including the likes of Amazon Prime Video. But I've got to say, when I had the Realme 6 Pro's display set on the default vivid colors mode, I found that the Aussie effect made very little difference at all. Everything looked absolutely fine, whether it was switched on or off. And media fans also have plenty to get excited about on the audio side. And sadly it's only a mono speaker set up here on the Realme 6 Pro, not a stereo effect like you get on some mode roller and Oppo rivals, but certainly on that top volume level the clarity is absolutely fine and it's nice and punchy as well, easily hear it through all kinds of background clamour, which is great news if you're self-isolating with a bunch of hyperactive children. And you've also got full Dolby Atmos and high-res audio support on there as well, which is great to see on a wallet-friendly handset like this, and it all works wonderfully. And you've also got full Bluetooth 5.1 support here on the Realme 6 Pro for your wireless streaming as well, but I really had some serious aggro out of that Bluetooth connection here on the Realme 6 Pro. It's one of my major beasts for this phone. So basically every time I would connect to any kind of Bluetooth device, speaker, headphones, whatever it may be, my audio app suddenly stopped bothering to work. So Amazon Music just wouldn't play music, Audible wouldn't play audiobooks. The only way I could get it to reset itself was basically to reboot the whole freaking phone and then it would be working fine again, which was uh, slightly irritating. So hopefully that is an issue that can be stamped out in an update very soon. And thankfully there is a headphone jack on here as an alternative, hip hip hooray. Now on the software side of the 6 Pro, you get the fresh new Realme UI served on top of Android 10. And this is very, very similar to Color OS, which Realme previously used, but with a few tweaks here and there. Hopefully Realme UI will diversify itself a bit more as time goes by. But for now, if you like Color OS, you'll definitely like this more for. You get all the standard stuff you'd expect packed on there. So for instance, a bit of gesture navigation, action, you've got your dark mode, you've got your digital well-being and parental controls, all the good stuff. And yeah, that settings menu is still rather cluttered and a bit messy, but once you sort of learn your way around it, you'll get used to it and it's fine. On the security front, you've got an impressively responsive edge-mounted fingerprint sensor built into that power button. One swift poke and you are straight into your phone. And the Realme 6 Pro also supports face recognition, which works fine as long as you're not wearing shades or obviously a balaclava or anything. Dual band Wi-Fi is supported and proves perfectly dependable, unlike that bloody Bluetooth. And you've also got a nice bit of NFC slapped on there as well for a bit of Google Pay action. Now performance can definitely of course be a bit hit and miss on these budget friendly blows, but the Realme 6 Pro does not disappoint. It's packing in Qualcomm's fresh new Snapdragon 720G chipset, that's an 8 nanometer platform, and it's backed here by either 6 or 8 gigs of RAM. 
tasty. I had the 8 gig model and it ran like a prize stallion. The odd time I did notice some apps taking a second or two to open, but that's about all I can really complain about here. Certainly gamers will get along with the Pro as popular games like PUBG Mobile play beautifully. That frame rate stays level even when things get proper nasty. Although annoyingly that game was only supported up to 30 FPS on this handset, which is a shame given the 90Hz screen. You do get the Game Space tool on board the Realme 6 Pro as well, which can prioritise your games for resources like network access, while also blocking notifications and possibly recording your mad skills for posterity. And I've got to say the Realme 6 Pro is an absolute banger when it comes to the battery life as well. You've got a 4300 milliamp cells stuffed inside there and that will easily keep you going over a day even if you keep that display locked to the 90 hertz display refresh rate instead of using the dynamic option. Seriously I tried hammering this thing with media streaming, plenty of camera use, the odd bit of gaming and skyping and I even then struggled to get it down to 20% by the end of a very long day. And the Realme 6 Pro powers up pretty pronto for a budget blower as well. You got 30 watt fast charge on there and that'll give you a full charge from a drain cell in about an hour or so. And rounding off the specs you've got the 64 or 128 gigs of storage. You've also got micro SD memory card support and the great news is you've got dual SIM trays in there and the micro SD memory card goes in its own separate slot so you can have it as well as those dual SIMs. Now last up let's check out that camera tech and on paper it is a bit of a stunner. You've got a 64 megapixel primary lens using a Samsung sensor and that's backed by an 8 megapixel ultra wide angle lens, a 12 megapixel telephoto lens and a 2 megapixel macro lens. Now as long as you're not dealing with any dodgy contrast that primary lens does a bang up job with your everyday snaps. You get 16 megapixel picks by default but there's also a full 64 megapixel option if you want finer detail. Colours appear quite natural or you can also turn on the dazzle colour AI mode to give them a bit more pep. It's a fairly subtle effect compared with some others and I definitely like the results. Meanwhile the HDR chops on the Realme 6 Pro aren't quite amazing and bright light can definitely lead to some ugly saturation but that's pretty standard for this sort of budget realm anyway. The telephoto lens offers a 2 times optical zoom or up to 20 times zoom with digital cropping. It is basic at best but it'll do the job if you want to get a bit closer to the action without actually moving. And that ultra wide angle lens behaves as expected too, great for your dramatic snaps. Like previous Realmes, the 6 Pro is great for portrait shots. You get a bunch of studio effects and full control over that bokeh level with fast and accurate edge detection. However, I found that the macro lens leaves a lot to be desired. Most of my shots are usually drained of colour and rather bland. You also got a night mode on there which can help to capture finer detail and more accurate colours when things get a bit ambient. Plus there's a tripod mode for super long exposure shots. Definitely handy in extreme low light, although the focus does occasionally struggle. You can shoot up to 4K resolution video with the usual vibrant colour reproduction, although the image stabilisation ain't exactly great. You'll definitely need to activate the super steady feature if you want to move and record at the same time, although this also drops the resolution to full HD, at which point things frankly look rather blocky and ugly. And around the front you get a dual lens setup, very rare to find on a cheapy mobile like this. And that comprises a 16 megapixel primary lens and a secondary 8 megapixel ultra wide angle lens for those group selfies. Both work absolutely fine during the day as long as you avoid any background flare action, complete with decent portrait smarts too. So the Realme 6 Pro will suit you Instagram lovers. And that in a nutshell is the Realme 6 Pro. Now unfortunately at the time of shooting this video review I don't have the official UK price because it hasn't actually launched here yet but we're expecting it to come in at around the £250 price mark and if it does that'll be stunning value for money because it packs the kind of features you do not get on budget blowers like 90Hz display, action, bit of telephoto, lens action there on the back as well. So for users who are a bit more demanding uh, but also on a very tight budget it certainly seems like this could be one of the best budget smartphones of 2020. But what do you guys think? It'll be great to hear your thoughts. Definitely smash those down in the comments below and don't forget to check out my unboxing of the standard Realme 6 as well which I've also just put live and that's basically like the Pro version. It's still got the 90Hz display and lots of great tech in there just pairs down the specs a little bit just to shave a little bit of money off that asking price and please do plug subscribe dig that notifications bell and have yourselves a lovely week people cheers love you